Uh, you'd think after four times I'd be better at this intro thing. But today, uh, in pride of... Fuck. In honor of Pride Month, <laughs> we thought we'd discuss the gayest franchise. Star Wars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The best franchise oh, that fantastic. I like, I love very much, and that I love talking about every time it's brought up. <laughs> I can't which believe is, uh, every time anything is ever brought up. <laughs> I can't believe uh, at this I, point there are nine goddamn sarcastic. movies. He's being very sarcastic. I, I, I being sarcastic. I, I cannot believe at this point there's nine goddamn movies franchise. and like seven spin-off ones and a show. I'm not even gonna count yeah. Clone Wars because I barely even consider that. What even, what even is that? It's a it's a show. It's like in between the prequels. Wow. As if you needed more as in between more. the prequels. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so um, do we want to start want... chronologically yeah. or from number four? I think we want to start with the original trilogy. Because that's right. what we, re- we actually rewatched for these. Because we don't remember <laughs> them at all. Because they're really boring. They're very boring. They're very forgettable. So, yeah. I don't think we're going to talk about plot much. Because there is none. Yeah, there there is none. It's very... I mean, you know the plot to Star Wars. You know the plot. Let's be real. Luke blows up it's Death uh, Star twice. I don't know. It's yeah, very cl- uh, uh, upon watching a New Hope. What's interesting is that it feels more and more clear that this was never meant to be a trilogy. Yeah, uh, you can feel it, it's very climactic. It sort of ends. It sort of starts and yeah. ends. I don't know. I think that was more because of the like because he didn't know if it was gonna do well or not. Oh, I see. But I I do think. Uh, they don't really leave like plot strands open, but mm-hmm. but I think as much as I don't like the movies, the second and third movies do like expand on the story in interesting ways, even though it's like a really generic bad story. Mm. So I don't think it's entirely not deserving to be a trilogy, but okay. like I wish it was Fair a good point. trilogy. <laughs> That's the only so, issue. Because like one thing um, is the one thing I'd probably yeah. give in its favor is uh, like because like what you can tell is that he definitely opened. Uh, how do I put this? The world building is shit. Right, that's the easiest way I can put it's it. It's garbage. It's not. It's so bad. But like, it's not he's still. Even though the build world building is bad, it's still there. There's a world that he has built here, so it does make and a relative and a relatively large one. So it makes sense that the second and third would actually have open ended things to explore. Because every mm-hmm. time, every time we need a new setting, he just fucks off, builds and just just invents a new planet that's just another <laughs> Minecraft biome. Uh, not even mm-hmm. just. Um, all right. In the first movie, we have uh, desert. In the mm. second movie, we have uh, snow. Yeah. In the third movie, we have forest. They literally, they and, literally. Uh, uh, I want to structure this a bit more. So first, we're mm-hmm. going to talk about the first movie, right? And Makes let me sense. just briefly sum up my thoughts. This is easily the worst one to me. I Agreed. really don't like this one. It's really boring. Mm-hmm. Um, I know they're iconic at this point, but I feel like those like scene transitions where it like wipes <laughs> the screen. I feel like that's done to mask the fact that there's no cohesion between any scene. Mm-hmm. It's kind of just shit happens, and then it cuts to a new scene of other shit happening, yeah. and none of it like flows. It's so painful to watch. There's like there's no pacing. Every scene is like thirty minutes long, and yet nothing happens. It's insane. I really fucking hate this one. Cause and, the, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was definitely I was gonna bring it up as well. I was gonna say the editing's really bad, but at the same time, the editing's yeah. only bad because everything else is bad as well. It's because the so script it's like, is bad. It's because the script's bad. So how would you edit this well with this script? You just can't. So it's kind of difficult also, to put this on the editing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, George Lucas. I feel like a lot of people criticize George Lucas for not knowing how to direct actors or write dialogue in the Very prequels. True. But I feel like that's also an issue in the originals as well. That's like what, yeah. in this one specifically, like all the timing for all the lines feels so off. Yeah. yeah and every, I everyone's that as well. delivery is really like none of it feels like a flowing conversation. Mm-hmm. It feels like actors spitting lines back at, back yeah. and forth at each other. Like it doesn't flow. You know, it's the, just it's a really painful. It was really painful to sit yeah. through. It was like I was shocked. I'm like, aren't these like the most beloved movies of all time? And then we watch <laughs> them. Like, what the fuck? Like, what is this? <laughs> Probably <laughs> the only horrible. actor who was really believable was Harrison Ford. <laughs> That's probably because yeah. he's always doing his own thing. And every time George Lucas yeah, exactly. tried to give him pointers, he's like, George Lucas, sit your fat ass down. I'm doing whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> he has some of the best lines, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah he has, they definitely he give he him the best, some lines. Of the best lines. Because like, I, I hesitate um, to call him a good mm-hmm. actor. Not, th- not to say that he's bad, but I hesitate to call him good. I think good. he's a pretty good actor. Eh, he's alright. But like, he, he, just he just kind of plays yeah. himself. He just kind of plays himself. And that's not necessarily to say he's a bad actor, right? I, I love actors who play themselves, but... That's why he's. That's mm-hmm. also why he's the most sort of fun to watch on screen in these all, all the time. Yeah, because he Cause, can tell he doesn't care, yeah. and his character's <laughs> supposed to not care. That's what. Yeah, and that, it. Yeah. That that's why he's, he's the only person in the movies that doesn't feel like an actor reading off lines because it genuinely feels like this is him. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. he's the only character that's entertaining to watch because he's not uh, a self-righteous prick. Oh god! Throughout all the movies, like every other character is. So, you know, he says um, this, but he also loves Daredevil. So, which is okay, but that that works though because the actors and the writing in that show is good. That's a fair point. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking shit, but I'm enjoying it a lot. But uh, one of the yeah, main things that yeah. actually just I'm going to mention this briefly, but one of the main things that turned me off of Daredevil initially was how self righteous and how oh the law has all the answers type thing. Every everyone is. But that's not what imagine, it is though. Imagine really. that, but for three movies. It's, yeah. it's exhausting. Uh, it like. Daredevil works because I don't know why we're comparing the two, but Daredevil <laughs> works because he's like Matt, Matt Murdock is like an actual character. He's yeah, not just no, I agree. He he's not just a plot device to drive the plot forward. Yeah, it's weird. Our like, main character, not, yeah, our main know. character isn't really a character in this. He's just yeah. he's not. This Luke, is, Luke this sucks. Is, yeah, this, and is, this is back when everyone had to be a blank slate so you could project. I really like. Um, I really like Mark Hamill as an actor now. Yeah. I think he's I think he's awful in this he's first movie. Really like bad. he's really bad. <laughs> like you can tell he's never acted before in his entire life. And he's so like all of his lines are so poorly uh-huh. delivered. And his character is like the most bland fucking like nothing character of all time. I feel like a lot what a lot of people don't like overlook is that uh they look at the whole franchise when they mm-hmm. watch this movie. But if you watch just this movie like what is there? You know, there's yeah, there's no really there's no memorable characters. Like even Darth Vader, like yeah, he looks and sounds cool, but like what does he do in this movie? Yeah, not much at all. He just kind of walks with cool music playing, and he also you yeah, know, that's one scene where he inspects the dead bodies. It's really funny. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> the opening scene is really really funny. Where yeah, where the Empire like they shoot the rebels, and he like walks in and then look looks at them you one know? by one. It's hilarious. <laughs> yes, this person is dead. <laughs> Moving on. It's it's hilarious. Yeah, but like. Well, yeah. I feel like that's that's one of the aspects that makes people love these movies as much mm-hmm. as they do is because they have the whole franchise in their head mm-hmm. as a whole, right? If you just watch this first movie, it's like barely a movie. Like there's there's nothing to it. The pacing is horrible. The characters are so big. It's like people get really attached to the idea of these characters that mm-hmm. they do to the actual characters. Like yeah, I'd love to have a like a cool bounty hunter guy <laughs> traveling with this. With a like, large hairy gorilla um, man. Yeah, but like they have nothing to them, you know? And not only that, large hairy gorilla man seems like a seems like a flawless concept on paper, right? But like yeah. he's going whatever the hell the, the, all the time. Yeah. It got yeah. so old so fast. He's like, Oh my god, it has got so <laughs> annoying. Yeah, it's like um Obi Wan, like they kind of made him more cool in the prequels, but in this movie again he, he does so nothing lame. other other than other than say some vague mm. prophecy shit, like that's that's all his, he does. It's like, oh, the you one, you would have you won to the. <laughs> the one lightsaber battle uh, that they have is so it's bad. Terrible. It's so bad. <laughs> it's terrible. Like, Obi Wan. Obi Wan does nothing for two hours and then gets fucked in the one lightsaber battle we do. And we see him. It's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> It's great. It's, it's so funny. It's hilarious, but it's not. But good. also really boring. Yeah. So I don't know. It's so bad to the point where someone on YouTube like edited a bit be- edited in a better lightsaber battle. Wow. That's... Like they, they like they did like they put on like the costumes and like shot it like the scene but they actually had like sword choreography. That's so, pretty fucking funny. You. That is that tells you how, how committed these fans are to this franchise <laughs> despite the franchise being shit. <laughs> you know, I feel like that sums it up really well. Oh, yeah, just sorry, yeah. Uh, we just we just mentioned briefly mentioned Chewbacca and there's a there's a thing with him I also I definitely want to bring up where it's so obvious what he says is gibberish, but how oh, yeah. kind of pretends to understand him. And that you bring up a, a really lot. interesting point. Yeah, he, he, you bring a up lot a lot of really, characters. Yeah, that happens a lot. Exactly. Where R two D is just these random beeps, and Luke is like, "Oh yeah, man, I know what you said there." And it's like, "No, you it's didn't. Like, no, you don't. Can you stop pretending?" No, to? you don't. <laughs> and you brought up a really interesting point. In Lord of the Rings, they actually had to like invent a language. Yeah, and like Lord of the Rings had had like a vision behind it and, yeah. a, and an actual story and you know source material and not just random bullshit thrown <laughs> on screen by a guy who doesn't know how to write a screenplay yeah. yeah and as much as they hit star trek a lot of the alien languages there seem decently realistic like klingon and vulcan and shit yeah. so yeah as much as star, star i think as much I think, as star trek also sucks but they did that i think i think in star trek the languages are also like done by an actual linguist i'm not oh, sure that though. makes sense that that would explain but in star more. wars 
in every Star Wars movie, it's just, oh, haha, ha, funny, funny. They said the gibberish, but they understand them. And that joke is done so many times. Yeah. It's never <laughs> so funny. Often, yep. I hate it so like, much. Later on, they explained it with, like, when R2-D2 is plugged into, like, a ship, he has, like, a little translating screen. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's, like, the only thing that they can, yeah. That's why Anakin can understand him while they're uh, flying. Why does R2-D2 have, like, opinions and an attitude, though? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't feel Why like... does C-3PO have an attitude? Because it, it's quirky funny. Yeah, funny, it's not funny. funny. Robot funny. <laughs> it's not mm. funny. It's n- I didn't say it <laughs> That's was. That's the problem. I didn't say it's it was funny. funny. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. God, it's, it's not good. <laughs> right, yeah. um, bad movie, no pacing. Uh, there's no world building either, as mm. I mentioned before. Like, it's just a random planet with a random makeup yep. on people's heads. Like, there's no... there's uh, The story isn't enhanced by it being set in, like, this vast galaxy because it takes place on, like, three like three <laughs> different planets anyways. It could have opened one look planet. like they all look like an Earth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, yeah. Do you have anything else to say about this one? <laughs> yeah, so not necessarily about this one. This is also a big thing with the franchise in general. But, like... Sorry, I'm being very broad. We're supposed to structure this. We're going completely off the rails. But this is just mm-hmm. important, right? Where this is about to be this huge galaxy, this huge universe. But yeah, and it's fucking yeah. minuscule. Everything just happens to work out. Everyone just happens to run into each other all the time. I don't know, mm-hmm. man. There's no sense of scale or size to anything. Everybody Nothing. just kind of runs into Fuck each all. other. Yeah. Yeah. The Death Star is supposed to be this, like, giant planet-sized ship, and it's like... What they show of it is like a one room, <laughs> you know, and exactly. and the trash compactor. Like, okay, cool, whatever. Yep. Um, I had something else to say. Go for it. I don't remember what. Oh, I'm sure I don't think this movie's important. that. I don't think this movie's that well shot. There's uh, there's, there's one cool shot with the with the two sons, and yeah, yeah. like that's it. I remember nothing him mentioning remember. this when we were watching it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing looks else cool. At all, yep. Like. Other than the stormtroopers, like <laughs> okay, yeah, we're, we, I was definitely going like to wait to bring that up, but let's let's be honest here. The only reason this series exists is because of the helmet bros, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, l- look, like they invented some cool ass helmets, and that's th- that's what's been carrying the series for like three decades. Yeah, now. I have a hypothesis. I think people are just really attached to because uh... while I'm watching these, I'm also trying to understand what people see in them. Mm-hmm. You know, because I don't get it at all. Yeah, and all I could come up with is. The cool helmets and the cool empire aesthetic, mm-hmm. and the music. That's it. Like I, who actually like cares about the story? I don't understand. And like, if you do, you probably really <laughs> don't. You just haven't thought about it. You know I, what have, I, mean? I have never in my life come across somebody that's actually taken the rebel side. Never in my life. Yeah, because they look Cause lame and they're they are lame, lame and stupid and dumb. And the, the dark side has these yeah. cool ass helmets and one of the most iconic pieces of mm-hmm. music in the history. So it's like, what do you yeah, want exactly. from me? Yeah, they make the rebels yeah, win every like, single time. And it's like, why do why do people remember Darth Vader? It's because he's got other than the twist in the second movie. Yeah, it's because he's got a cool helmet and cool music. That's literally it. Yeah, and true. and he sounds cool. That's and it. He does sound cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just like there's nothing to him. It's I, I again, it's just getting attached to the idea of a character instead yeah. of what the character exactly. actually is. Like, if you look at him in this first movie, he's a nothing character. He kind of... He does that lame trope where the the evil villain, like, chokes out his own henchman for, yeah. for no reason. Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck, like, why? Why are you doing that, bro? <laughs> like, do you really have that many men? Why do people join the Empire anyway? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, I mean, they explained it in the prequels, right? <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, totally. <laughs> But yeah. shit, what was I gonna um, say? But yeah, and, and also Darth Vader, like, because his costume, his co- like really cool costume and everything, right? But the dude can't move. Yeah, so all the lightsaber fights he's in are so stilted, and he's uh, uh, they are. It's just oh man, like we don't ever see yeah. him do anything actually cool. Yeah, and I mean, do you want to go on to the second movie now? Yeah, holy shit! Yeah, sorry, we we end up we ended yeah. up talking about the franchise uh, in general a lot, but as man, a whole, just, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so little to say about the first movie. So it's just boring. Th- I I do like the second movie more than the first the second one. Movie's a lot I still more don't fun. think it's very good. I think the the first like three fourths of it are really boring, and again, nothing happens. Uh-huh. But like the third act, when shit actually goes down and Darth Vader and Luke fight, like I, I thought that was kind of cool. I enjoyed okay. that, even though the twist is like the most famous twist in movie oh history. My God. That comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it's way. so dumb. No, I remember because like when I watched, I was a kid, right? My parents showed it to me like in order, right? So prequels first, 
And uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. And like it was, it was supposed to be this huge shock. Oh yeah, same, same. Darth Vader's his dad. The <laughs> Darth Vader's his dad. I'm like, what? It's obvious. Did you see the previous ones? <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. When I was a kid, I was like, where are people in the '70s stupid? They they showed him <laughs> turning into Darth Vader in the first three movies, <laughs> <laughs> which is hilarious. It's pretty great, but yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. why. That's why I guess I never felt the full weight of the twist. But somebody being yeah. somebody in the in the '90s or '80s or whatever the shit that came out, yeah, probably must have blown a- their minds. It's a cool idea for a twist, yeah, and I, I think it's the, the, this scene that it's in is well handled. But I think the rest <laughs> of the movie is so goddamn boring. I, can I love the that, scene yeah. where um, I love the scene where Lando betrays them, and Darth Vader is just sitting on a chair <laughs> in an empty room. <laughs> it's really funny because like it, it sort of has it's the hilarious. Batman. Pro- it has the Batman problem where his suit is so like you know dark that whenever he's in like a, a well lit room doing anything, it it's looks instantly stupid. Held so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Like he's just um, sitting there. <laughs> God damn it. I, I get, remember him uh, laughing. L- L- Luke, Luke goes on a training arc this movie where mm-hmm. he learns nothing and we get Yoda who is again a nothing character uh, but people kind of made him out to be more hey, He's much he cooler in the prequels. The... I'm going to say this right now. He's so much cooler <laughs> in the prequels. <laughs> he's pretty badass in the he's prequels. He's so cool in the prequels. He's so nothing in these. <laughs> yeah. He's he has like, some decently funny really... lines but I don't know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Luke goes on a training arc where he learns nothing, and then in the next movie, he's magically better somehow. <laughs> and um, I I was going to bring this up in the first movie, but I know, like, the main argument against this is, like, yeah, but they're, they're not supposed to be, like, super well-structured stories with good characters. Mm-hmm. They're just pulpy fun, but the problem is they're not fun. They're, they're not boring. fun either. So every lame. scene, Every <laughs> scene is, like, 20 minutes long, and it's, like, there's no pacing to mm-hmm. anything. There's no there's no good action scenes in these at all, none. I don't think. No, there's, there's a, none. There's a couple of entertaining action scenes in the prequels and, like, a lot yep. in the, the sequels, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. But this is, like, this is... There's nothing... Um, I think a friend of mine sarcastically commented on my letterbox review for the first movie where mm-hmm. he's, like... Uh, well, because he grew up on them, so obviously he's biased. Right. But he's like, yeah, I gr- I agree. This needed more laser fights and quips. And I'm like, you I joke, agree. But like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I <laughs> because if agree, agree. <laughs> because if you don't have those, what do you have? Like, yeah, that that implies that you don't need laser fights and quips for these to be good. But like, <laughs> what is in there to that is good other than that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, a lot of it I, I feel like does have to be with the technological it. limits, where they 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 had to animate a lightsaber yeah. with like a broken toothbrush. So it's like, what, what the hell? You can't really make them do anything crazy. But no, I think still, they're impressive for the time. I will, I will give them that, points, but it's just yeah. so slow and lame now. But but now that the special effects don't impress us anymore, yeah. mm-hmm. what what is there? What is there left? <laughs> exactly. And I again, I wouldn't even be criticizing it this much for not holding up as like just a movie, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, if they weren't still loved for some reason. Oh my god! I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the it's like the Doom like, twenty sixteen Eternal versus the original <laughs> argument. <laughs> There's just no comparison. Um, I want to bring up Lord of the Rings again because I think it's right. pretty similar, just in a different genre. But pretty, like yeah. Lord of the Rings was a ginormous technological feat for the time, mm-hmm. right? For two thousand and one or whatever. Right. A lot of it still but, holds up. But at the core of it, you have great characters. You have eh. a great story. Eh. You have great action eh. scenes. You have great pacing, even though they're all like nine hours long. Right. Um, and it's like they still hold up as movies, even if you're not even like super impressed by the special effects anymore. Mm-hmm. But these Star Wars movies, like, there's nothing to them right. other than the '70s, like, oh, look at that, it's a spaceship in space. You know, like, there's nothing to them. Mm-hmm. There's just nothing there. Yeah, agreed. I, I don't understand these. Yeah, that makes all. a lot of sense to me. <laughs> So, man, oh right, my yeah. god, we're just talking about the franchise in general again. What the hell even happened in the second one? Okay, no, no, no. Uh, we don't need to talk about... Uh, there's not a lot to say about the individual <laughs> ones, because they're kind of they're kind of nothing movies. They're kind of right? nothing. <laughs> but that's like, I yeah. literally... I had to look up a plot synopsis before this, just because all the plot of all the movies meshed together in my head. They, they really the same. failed to stand out. Yeah. Because they're all the same plot. Yeah. <laughs> Every exactly. time. Yep. Even the sequel trilogy just copied A New Hope. Like, just yeah. straight up. It's much better. Oh! oh. Spoilers. But, hey, oh, oh, but, oh, 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 spoilers. spoilers but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, third one. Jabba the Hutt. Oh. Uh, epic Chungus. <laughs> thing. Yeah, I honestly love ahead. his animatronic. I don't know, man. I think the puppet. Oh, it looks great. Puppet on its I think it looks, yeah, it looks See, great. And, 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 um, uh, w- w- I'm surprised we took this long to mention this, but like George Lucas's oh, yeah. like, editing. <laughs> Of like, like, how do we put this? He like puts CGI post production, not not post production, like after release when CGI 
Fuck, how do, it, it's just so bad. Because, like, in the second movie, we see Jabba yeah. the Hutt, but he's animated for some reason. And it looks mm-hmm. so bad. You can tell Harrison Ford's really struggling to make it look like that was the original plan. No, Harrison Ford they didn't reshoot Harrison Ford. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, I, I, meant, I didn't mean, yeah. like, the actor. I meant, like, what it looks like the character's doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, it's not even, like... Because the original film is from 77, mm-hmm. so it's, like, shot on grainy film. Mm-hmm. And then the CG model is, like, crystal clear. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, like, what the fuck? It's fu- so like, weird. <laughs> It looks awful. So, yeah. George Lucas, don't do that. Uh, I think it, he does. It, he does it the most in the first movie. Uh-huh. I didn't notice it that Honestly, much in the other the re- ones. The reason I bring this yeah. up in the third one is because even though it's the most in the first, it's the most egregious in the third. Yeah. Like you remember, there's this singing alien in the third one that looks like some sort of weird yeah. frog thing. You know what I'm talking? about? Maybe shit. we'll flash it on screen yeah. if we really hate our audience that much. But it was no. terrifying. No, I'm not do that. Yeah. It was so scary. It was we horrific. Just, I don't we know why because like, we were. Does that. <laughs> Because like, we were watching the original trilogy, t- trilogy together, right? And that comes on, yeah. and we just both fall silent. We're just shocked. <laughs> we're just both like, what so the fuck? <laughs> George. Listen, George. 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 <laughs> we're referencing the, 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 the masterpiece, uh, Rampage, oh starring The Rock. That movie, where okay. he sign language is a gorilla the whole time, and he goes, George. 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 <laughs> so funny. So yeah, George Lucas would make a funny ha joke. Man, that movie could have been so great. It's a gorilla and the rock. What else could you want? I know. Uh, And it was somehow, like, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It was so boring. It was so boring. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Media banter. Media banter. Join the rock movies uh, ranked. (laughs) Hobbs and Shaw number one. I've seen so many of them. (laughs) Exactly. The Hobbs Hobbs and Shaw trailer number one. No, you know why I've seen so many of them? Because every time a trailer comes out, I turn to you and I'm like... So we're seeing that, right? <laughs> Even though we hate them every time. Yep, that's exactly correct. <laughs> yep. We didn't we see Hobbs and Shaw in theaters? We did. My God, we saw Rampage in theaters too. We saw both Jumanji's saw... in theaters, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we, we did. My God, why did we do this? <laughs> anyway, okay, sorry, really off track. Yeah, don't watch. Don't uh, watch the, the Rock should have been in Star Wars. That would have made them better. <laughs> I think. Who would he be? He should have yeah, been Boba uh, Fett. Yeah. This. Uh, speaking of Boba Fett. Oh, I think wow. he, oh, okay. He he is a good analogy for the whole for this original trilogy mm-hmm. because he he looks cool. There's a lot of toys of him. There's books about his backstory and whatever. But in the actual movies, he does nothing. He has maybe two lines, and he does nothing. And that's kind of that's kind of this whole trilogy to me. But Mark, Just there's like, something there's you forget. So, something you're forgetting. He has a cool helmet. He does have a cool <laughs> helmet. That's why he. <laughs> That's why anybody remembers him. That's how anybody. He's not a character. That's why he's such a good analogy for the Star Wars series in general. Because that's why un- that's yeah. the only reason anybody remembers Star Wars in general. There's a cool, helmet cool helmets and music. Cool helmets and music. Exactly. You know, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so iconic. It's great. <laughs> yeah, and it's like John Williams did so much of the heavy lifting. But yeah. John Williams and whoever built like the miniatures are like the ones oh, that yeah. did everything because these the scripts are complete garbage. <laughs> oh yeah, the third movie. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, third movie. Whatever. Yeah, the whatever. Star Wars movie. What do you What do you want to say? About <laughs> it progressively get too. more and more entertaining. Like I don't know. Yeah. I I don't know. There's uh, that's why there's this one scene where Senator Palpatine zapping Luke nearly to death, right? And Darth Vader's just kind of <laughs> looking there for a second, <laughs> like because we can't because we can't see his face. We can't really see the gears turning or him making any decisions. <laughs> so he's just kind of looking. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> It's so, like yeah. Bane doing yeah. anything in The Dark Knight Rises, you know? That's a really good analogy, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, am this in charge, also... Darth Vader. Do you feel in charge? This is the third one. This this one also sucks. Yeah, this one The original well. trilogy just sucks. The characters are yep. actually paper thin. I mm-hmm. don't understand what anybody sees in them. Uh, none of them are interesting, I don't think. Literally none of them. Yep. I can't think of a single character I'd want to see in like something else. Leia and <laughs> Han know? have like no chemistry. It's it's embarrassing. Eh. I don't see it. I, I, don't I thought they had it. a little bit of chemistry. I don't I, see I it. Like some of the one things, thing is, I will admit, yeah. I will admit what's impressive about Leia. She does actually kind of do shit. Like she actually has like a pistol. Yeah. and she shoots people. That's a kind yeah, of impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a lot of not a lot of stuff, but not a lot of stuff. Something. More than a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah, but um, really paper thin characters. Yep. Really generic, forgettable plot. I'm sure the effects were cool for the time. They're not mm-hmm. cool now. So, like, what am I supposed to get out of it? The so, music is great. Yep. The cinematography isn't special at all, mm-hmm. I don't think. I did like that speeder bike scene from the thir- third movie. Very impressive effect. It's kind of goofy looking. It's kind of funny. Yeah, but, but it's impressive. I, I liked it. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure you did. It's 
better. It's probably the best action scene of the original trilogy. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. um, so, and some people are born with charisma, and some people have to earn it. And Mark Hamill is yeah. one of those people who have to earn it. It's yeah. interesting how much charisma he gained in age, because he has oh, zero yeah. in the original trilogy. He has none. Yeah, we're going to go to the one everyone hates later and talk <laughs> about that. You know, because it's like, does new stuff. It's Wow. Uh, but, you know, yeah. they're, they're, I think I personally think something they're really bad. Yeah, fair um, enough, but... <laughs> uncomparable, though. <laughs> before before we get to uh, before we get to that, uh, let's talk about the prequels briefly. Oh, finally. Uh, th- briefly? Are, this are, is going to be the biggest part of the are, podcast. Th- these are horrible. These are so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, real shit. They're, they're really funny, uh-huh. and... They're definitely a lot more fun to watch than uh-huh. the originals, but they're still really bad. They're so like, terrible. They're awful. Oh, they're great. They're so bad. This is my generation's Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, these are the ones I grew up with. These are generally the ones yeah. I grew up with. Uh, we had, like, all six of them yeah. on DVD. These are the only ones I'd watch. Mm-hmm. They're fun. Like, the CGI isn't... On- honestly, the CGI is, like, bad to the point where it's not ugly, but it's still funny. Yeah. I want to say. like a video game question. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, I still think it's funny. Like a- so many good lines. So many. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> like I don't know, as much as as much as our slash the prequel memes suck, uh, there's generally some really funny lines in these here in these movies. Yeah, like independently from the meme, they're funny. Yeah, exactly. You know, like the whole. There's nothing wrong with her medically. She Fuck. just lost oh the will to live. <laughs> no, these movies, like especially the, we're jumping way ahead, but like in the third one, there's this one scene. Where they're like, you know that scene where they're like jumping on lava and shit, right? And they're having a s and, and they're yeah, having yeah. like a lightsaber battle. And and he's like and he's like, Don't go with the Sith, the Sith are evil. And he goes, Well, my from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. It's and like I th- I thought I remembered it wrong, but like that's genuinely what he says. It's like it's like it's like the, again, it's like the originals where they it's like they wrote an outline for a script yeah. and forgot to fill it in. <laughs> It's like it's like that one clip of the guy who's like, "Wait, this isn't my world." Disappointed. Disappointed. It's like, yeah, they wrote an outline for a story and then forgot to write a script around it, so mm-hmm. it's just like point by point bullshit oh, minus so any funny. actual like minus any actual like emotion yeah. or like energy or anything. Mm-hmm. So it's just these movies are really bad. The, yeah. I think the third one is the only one where something actually happens. <laughs> you know. It's that's, that's why everybody remembers the third one the best because it's the only one where shit goes down at the end. It's weird how like <laughs> needlessly complicated these try to be, because like there's this yeah. whole like there's this whole dispute with the Trade Federation and the Republic, and yeah. then the, 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 it's like what? Who cares? What are you serious? Only money. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of great characters uh, in these. Le- uh, yeah, Obi Wan. Oh, honestly, yeah, Ian McGregor <laughs> pops the fuck off. I think Ewan McGregor as Obi Wan is my favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> I have to agree. He's having so much He's fun. He's really funny. Yeah, him and uh, General Grievous. Oh Best my rivalry god! Oh, Alistair. so cool. <laughs> fuck. He's I a remember, bionicle. I'm gonna bring that up right now. Where I, I, uh, yeah. there was a little bit of time where they were selling a bionicle of General Grievous. I'm like, that'll be around forever. I shouldn't buy that. And then it's not around anymore, and I regret it. And then you want it. <laughs> oh, I want it so bad. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, um, Yoda in these movies looks Yoda's badass. So, like, like I don't know. They it's really, so honestly, cool. a lot of people talk shit on like the CGI sword fights, but I fucking love them. I love the lightsaber fights. Oh, they're so movies. cool. They're so yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. And Yoda genuinely, like, there's this one scene where he fights Dooku, right? And he's jumping all over the place. You can tell he genuinely uses his small size as like a benefit. Yeah, as like a benefit for him. Yeah, it's, it's like he doesn't fight like a normal human being would, just small. He genuinely does, heard, like, the choreography uh, yeah. genuinely is, like, for something like him. I was really impressed with that scene. Anyway, continue, Mark. I've heard a, I've heard an argument that's like, oh, he's supposed to be, like, the wise mentor that doesn't actually ever fight because he's above that or some shit, but whatever, it's a Who cool cares? fight scene. <laughs> Who cares? Care. <laughs> I don't care about these characters. I don't care what they stand, but what they stand for. You know, they're non-characters. <laughs> it's like, if you want to throw one of them to, for a cool action scene, fine, do that. Yeah, that do works whatever. for me. That's, that, Count that's all I'm here well. for. He has such a beautiful That's beard. all I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. Really nice he's voice. The, he's on one of the villains. Google. He's one of the villains in um, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings as well. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Yep, yep. I know. Stuff. <laughs> Which I didn't realize because uh, he doesn't. He doesn't look like he has that long ass hair in Lord there. of the Rings. Yeah. yeah, he has long hair and a long beard. He's a really cool villain in that yeah. too. He's a good actor. Yeah, he's great. Um, the one thing in these movies that's very inconsistent is like the tone <laughs> is so all over the place. Like in one in you one have, scene, like the yeah. fucking yeah. Like in one scene, there's genocide, and the other Jar Jar Binks go, "I should me pant." 
It's the, like, I was gonna, supposed to feel about I this? I was going to bring up the line, Oh, we're stripped and poopy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he says that at some point. <laughs> he does yeah. say that, I remember that. <laughs> oh, Which is hilarious. It. Oh, but it's, it's so bad. Yeah. But yeah, I watched these as a kid, and I remember them really well, mm-hmm. unlike the original trilogy yeah, which I, we've literally had to rewatch yeah like we didn't we like we like wa- about them. <laughs> we were like watching the first we decided to also watch the prequels but we were like halfway through the phantom menace so we're like we know the shit by heart we know what's happening yeah we don't need to watch, <laughs> we don't need to watch these <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're fun they, they, they don't have good world building per se but at least like the planets in them look unique like, yeah i still remember that true. city that they're in you mm-hmm. know in the beginning of attack of the clones like or like yeah. the underwater thing in phantom menace like oh that was actually kind of meanwhile i i get i get that it's technological limitations but still like the original trilogy is just desert <laughs> forest yeah it's like it's looking it's boring they, they go know. they go just, they go with the mario uh, world they go with like a completely cg mm-hmm. fake world yeah. but it looks kind of cool so <clears throat> whatever <laughs> i still don't think that um like the aliens, any of the aliens look good. I fucking hate all of them so much. They oh yeah, horrible. Like fucking Watto, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's very obviously, George thought he was slick. That's that's so obviously like a Jew. Like we can just say that, <laughs> right? We'll just say that. That is so obviously are, a Jew. We, we are Jews, so we're, we're Jews. To. We can say it. Yeah, we can say it. <laughs> yeah. like, your Jedi Matrix don't work on me. Only money. It's like we know what you're doing here, George. It's funny, <laughs> so you're allowed. But it's, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> No, like the really. fucking guy, uh, I don't know why I remember that scene, but where Obi Wan talks to this guy in a cafe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you remember that? This fat guy oh with an God. apron. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> I do yeah. remember that. Yeah, they're us, by the yeah. way. They. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, I was going to say. This movie also has the, the funniest scene in it from any Star Wars, where there's a couple, like of intentionally those. funny. The fucking mm-hmm. death sticks. Hilarious. <laughs> Like that's yeah, so th- these, oh, that's great. They're they're not good movies, but mm-hmm. at least they provide like yeah, like sometimes cool action scenes and some maybe unintentionally funny banter. Meanwhile, yeah. like what do the originals provide? Like they don't provide me good characters. Really. They don't give me good action scenes. There's no funny like banter in it. You know, like it's just, none of it works. Meanwhile, these ones, yeah, they're fucking awful as well. And I'm sure objectively these are like worse than the originals. Yeah, but, but they're a lot more fun to they're watch. They're a lot more. They're a lot more fun to watch, yep. even if they are boring a lot of the time, mm. too. So, okay, yeah. one more thing I want to say about Watto. This is important. The- um, he's literally Howard Uncut Gems. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's addicted to gambling, he's Jewish. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, he's Jewish, even though he's an alien. <laughs> ah, same thing. It's same thing. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh, um, so, yeah, yeah uh, the music in these is really good too. Like the fight yeah. where where the Obi Wan and the uh, Anakin are fighting in the third one at the end. Oh yeah, and the music in that fucking scene is Pretty awesome. Neat. I love it. Um, yeah, again, dialogue is horrible, but mm-hmm. I mean, it's Star Wars. What do you expect? And the acting right? is extremely polarizing because Ian McGregor obviously carries the film, and then there's oh, he's Aiden great, Christensen. and the Emperor. It's and the Emperor, too. oh my god, he's having so much fun. I love him watching <laughs> him on screen. The Emperor's so good, yeah. <laughs> it's treason, the then. Oh, it's oh. Just... <laughs> and then there's Hayden Christensen, lo- which is, um... Yeah. Anyway, continue. I hurt you. I hurt you. <laughs> I like how Mace Windu's Samuel L. Jackson's <laughs> lightsaber is purple, just because he went up to George and was like, hey man, can I have a purple lightsaber? <laughs> and... You know, George doesn't actually care about building a <laughs> believable world or a consistent anything, so he's just like, yeah, whatever. He's like, yeah, whatever, yeah, sure. Yeah, that that kind of shows you how how much world building there is that you can just give someone a purple lightsaber and I'll be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I, mean, I think that's kind of. I think it's kind of dope. I don't know, man. No, it looks cool, yeah. but like still. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's yeah, that. Uh, people actually die in the third one too, which is crazy. Yeah. I never saw that in a movie before. Like he like, shows, he shows <laughs> up to like a daycare and kills children. Yeah, like, holy shit! George Lucas had gruesome balls all of a sudden, and then and then and then the the previous scene is Jar Jar going Delo Felicus, Delo God damn it, George! Uh, he has uh, no idea what's going on. Very interesting movies. I I, I do enjoy yeah. them quite a bit. Honestly, yeah, I I, I'd be down them. to I'd be down to watch them again. Actually, even though we gave up, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do enjoy them. They are they, they are, are funny. Fun. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. I feel he, like. Um, I feel like, yeah, again, when people, when these came out, people were like, oh, the dialogue is so bad, the characters are so bad, the acting is mm. terrible, but I'm like, hmm. I'm like, take off, take off your nostalgia goggles. Yeah. 
I have to agree there. <laughs> the originals had those same mm-hmm. issues. Sure, they might have been more consistent with it, but they still had like no world building, mm-hmm. a really generic story that where each scene didn't like develop the story in any way. You know, it's like, like bad oh, pacing. One of the things yeah. that I really hated as well was how fan servicey some of it was. Because, like, Mm -hmm. the fact that C-3PO was actually built by Darth Vader when he was a kid is so (laughs) fucking stupid. It kind of, like, destroys the conversion of them, too. Because you're like, wait, this is a small-ass galaxy. It's so (laughs) dumb. Yeah. 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 It's pretty great. Yeah, but these are fun. Yep. Probably don't watch them, but... I'd say watch them. I don't know, I love them. (laughs) I didn't funny. grow up on them either. I saw them for the first time when I was like 13 years old, I think. Oh, wow, nice. I I, yeah. I grew up on them. My parents showed them to me when I was really young. I feel like even my yeah. parents kind of like the prequels more. They're kind of based well, yeah. in that way. It's like, which one would you rather put on and watch right now? Like, <laughs> yeah, on. that's very true. Like, one's a boring piece of shit, and the other one is a piece of shit, but at least it's not that boring. <laughs> and it's also funny, like, I, f- I feel like Ian McGregor and uh, Harrison Ford probably get along very well, because it's pretty obvious oh, yeah. that McGregor's kind of fucking sick of Star Wars as well. Uh, yeah, I do yeah, remember. Yeah. I do remember reading an article where he got really pissed that everybody wants him to sign Star Wars merch all the time. Well, that makes <laughs> sense. Like, yeah, and it's like, well, yeah, what else do you want him to? Fun. It's like, what else do you want him to sign, man? Heroin. Because <laughs> 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 yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Train spotting yeah, from Train Spotting, which is another yeah. incredible film that he was in. Which is an actual good movie. Which is a great. Yeah, we haven't yeah. talked about one of those in a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No. These are bad but i feel like they're not not as bad as like die hard fans of star wars make them yeah, out to be i agree because they ruined the lore <laughs> <sighs> so if you don't care about the lore if you don't care about the characters and there you is no of, lore you can, yeah. <laughs> exactly there that's is why no they, lore and you're not it. you're not you're not allowed to say oh the lore is all in the side books like i don't care i'm not gonna read them like yeah. i don't it's like it's like put the lore in the movie Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, there, there's some fun action, there's some quirky dialogue, there's some interesting enough characters. I enjoy the prequels a lot. Yeah, they're not good. Uh, do you want to move on to the sequels? Yeah, the sequels is yeah, Oh, Also, also uh, I want to bring up that my least favorite from the original trilogy is the only one from the original trilogy that's actually directed by George Lucas. Wow. So, I feel like that's she's just not a very good director. <laughs> not a very good director at all, no. <laughs> because, like, the second and third one, I'm like, wow, okay, so the char- the, the dialogue scenes actually kind of flow better mm-hmm. in these. <laughs> and, like, like even, like, in the scene where, like, the emotional scene where, uh, on Endor, when Luke is talking to, like, Leia or whatever, oh, I was like, oh, I'm kind of getting into this. Mm-hmm. This is a decently done scene. But in, like, the first one, I'm like, oh, my God, like, I can't even pay <laughs> attention to what anybody's saying because the way they're saying it is so stilted and horrible. And the same thing with these t- produce prequels, but at least here mm-hmm. it's funny. Okay, before we get to the sequels, there's one more very important thing we forgot to mention. Mm-hmm. Darth Maul. Oh, <laughs> Darth Maul. <laughs> it's so he's cool. Great. He's awesome. <coughs> oh, sorry. He also, uh, I remember hearing that he's actually the choreographer. Yeah, and obviously, if, yeah. If you're the choreographer, you're gonna give yourself a goddamn double lightsaber. Double lightsaber, <laughs> hell yeah! It's fucking badass. I it's love awesome. It. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's oh yeah, it's great. Yeah. You can tell you can tell they actually had a choreographer for this one because there's actual there's choreography. Actual fights. Yeah, <laughs> there's actual fight scenes and stuff. Uh, like yeah, there's there's cool. none in the yeah exactly. There's none in the original yeah. trilogy. So anyway, which again probably time like but but that time period. But still, it's yeah. like. If you're going to make a space action movie and not give me any good action, why, why the hell am I watching this? <laughs> exactly. I don't get it. Like, yeah. To be immersed in this world that's just randomly cobbled together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like, nothing. There's nothing no. Here. There's no lore. No, but it's there's explained no in the comics, Mark. It's explained in the comics. I don't care. Exactly. The comics don't count. Who cares? <laughs> It's like a lot of people. A lot of people say say this is the whole Avatar thing. As soon as somebody asks a question about Avatar, they're like, "Oh, they they covered this in the comics." It's like I don't care. It's like I don't care. What do you I mean? You really don't. Yeah. In uh, I'm gonna briefly bring up Mass Effect, right? But that's uh. a that's a big uh, sci-fi like epic. I know it's a video game, so it has way more time to tell its story, mm-hmm. right? But even then, like every alien race you saw has a purpose to being an alien and they all have different relationships with the human race and their other interpersonal conflicts stuff. It's like, it works. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. The universe makes sense. There's world building. It's a very immersive world. In these Star Wars movies, it's random people in makeup. Yeah. There's, mm-hmm. no, there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. Mm-hmm. And I know it's supposed to be pulpy fun or whatever, but like one it's half of it is not, not even that. fun. It's like, fuck off. Yeah. 
these suck as uh, can I just say these suck as like science fiction movie or fantasy movies like they're just not good as yeah. that yeah I have to agree yeah. mm-hmm. alright do you want to move on to the sequels yeah I think that's I think that's enough about the bad ones alright now let's get on to the this good ones ho- <coughs> hottest take in my entire life <laughs> boiling hot take I like all three of these more than any of the previous six ones we've talked mm-hmm. about even Rise of Skywalker which is like the worst movie ever <laughs> <laughs> like Okay, so Force Awakens, uh, like, I'm gonna let Mark talk about this one, he definitely has stronger opinions on this, but Force Awakens yes. is the one I would arguably, is like, the first one in the series I would arguably actually call good. Yes. It's like, actually fun, a lot of the acting's pretty on t- on spot on the spot. It's on point, on yeah, point, it's sorry. great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the helmets are a bit weak in this, I'll give the, hel- I'll take away points yeah, for that. Yeah, I like Kylo Ren's helmet. Kylo Ren's a decent helmet, I don't like how, like, sanitized the clone troopers look now. Like, the Stormtroopers yeah, look now, I, I don't like the new look. I don't hate them, like but them. it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Yeah, fair enough. Soul versus Soulless type shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm not Anyways, a huge uh, Force Awakens is the first time I've, like, loved the Star Wars movie. Because I saw it in theaters, and I'm like, man, that was so much fun. That moved so quick. It's, like, two and a half hours long. It just flew by. And every single sequence, was there was either action that I enjoyed, or there was uh, character interactions that I enjoyed. Like, all the acting is great, as you said. The, the dialogue is actually, like, witty and funny and entertaining to listen to, you know? The, yeah. And apologies for that. I'm not sure why. So I just John, got s- cut, John got cut off. I don't know why. It just sort of stopped recording. That's audacity. had the audacity yeah. to stop recording. Anyways. Yep. Anyways. Uh, Force Awakens is great. Mm-hmm. It's the first time I've, like, experienced actually liking one of these movies. <laughs> So I saw it in the theater, and I'm like, damn, every scene is, like, so quick and so much fun. You know, there's a purpose to every scene within the story. Uh, it felt like an actual adventure yep. with, you know, a charismatic lead and great side characters, <laughs> unlike all the other ones. And the effects are great. There's a good, there's a really good mix of practical and uh, CGI. Mm-hmm. And uh, they also, like, I know you don't notice this, but they shot it, like, on very grainy film Holy to make it shit. look like the 70s My fucking movies. Penis. It looked really nice. My penis is coming. That's incredible. <laughs> It looked. It looks really good. <laughs> okay, fine. And yeah, like all the all the lighting looks almost like seventies ish and mm-hmm. stuff. Like they try to emulate the look of the originals while also modernizing it. I think it looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. This is a really fun movie that people hate on too much because it's just the same shit as a new hope. But it's like, what do you want? Yeah. It's like if you try something, if you try something new, you'll also hate it. <laughs> exactly. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's like the COD <laughs> argument where if you give if you give COD players something new, they'll be like, why the hell is this different? If you give COD players the same, they'll be like, why the hell is this the same? Yeah, the Star Wars is the part of movies. Very true. You're right. <laughs> Very they, true. Because they release the same shit every time. Uh, yeah, uh, this is actually also when Rey was actually kind of enjoyable as a character. It could be just because I'm, yeah, I'm a sexist kinda, bad person. Her up later. Yeah, it could yeah. be just because I'm a sexist bad person, but she really started to get on my nerves later. It's because it's because she wasn't like a character later. She was kind of mm-hmm. just a plot, like an all powerful plot device. That's yeah, I'm gonna say it. Mary Sue. Wouldn't like her. I'm gonna say. But it. in the first movie. She, but in the first movie, she's really entertaining. Yeah, I really liked her. She genuinely yeah. has some struggles. She's actually learning shit in the first movie. Then they're like, "Ah, fuck it." Yeah, she knows yeah. everything. The villain is so much better than Darth Vader. <laughs> like, <laughs> Kylo Ren is a much stronger villain than Darth At Vader. He... Like, he doesn't look as cool, but I guess he, he does. Has stuff. like you know, he has a character mm-hmm. and like problems yeah. and struggles. And uh, it's not a crazy concept a face. for these movies. I'm gonna say that as much as I love helmets, you know, it's really difficult to, to actually get yeah. any emotion from them. So the fact that Kylo yeah. Ren actually takes it off occasionally and we can actually see his emotions does help. Yeah, and uh, I mean Adam Driver is a fantastic actor, so too. good. So he brings he he brings a lot to it. Yeah. Yeah. Insert insert marriage he, story joke. I'm not even sure what joke to make. Anyway, I continue. think he only improves as these movies go on. Yeah. Like, even if the actual movies get worse than <laughs> Force Awakens, but like I really like him in the second one as well. Mm. <laughs> the fucking. It's really yeah, this is a really it's it's the, it's a retread, but at the same time, like I, I remember, I was rewatching this on my TV in the background, right? Mm-hmm. And like in the first Star Wars movie, A New Hope, you see like a planet get blown up, and it's just like oh, it's just a random space rock gets blown up, <laughs> right? You don't feel anything. You don't feel anything. True. Um, in this one, the circular base blows up a planet. You see like this really like long series of shots of like the mm-hmm. fucking the people on the planet seeing that laser coming for them and it's like wow this yeah. is so much more effective than just showing me a rock blowing up like <laughs> exactly. you know? agreed like, yeah that makes it a is a retread sense. but it's a very good retread I think it's like what the original st- I think this one is what people who really like the originals think the first one is. that makes a lot of sense yeah I I can <laughs> you know there yeah. yeah I really like it mm-hmm. yeah it's look great it's a lot it's of fun the, so the only star wars movie i really love yeah, I'll even give points there. Not so much. 
I wouldn't yeah. say really love. Like, I, like I, I'm not going to yeah. eagerly watch this one again, but I do enjoy it, and I do like what it did. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. That, that's all you can really do. Just yeah. give me like <laughs> just stupid just fun like scenes yeah. with fun characters. We live Force Awakens. Yeah, great yes. movie. Okay. Love it. It's the only Star Wars movie I love. Was uh, every other one was was, was the traitor scene it. in the in Force Awakens? Yes. For some yes. reason, yeah. <laughs> like as much as much as like Le Funny May May ruined it, it's such a funny fucking scene on its own. It's a good scene. He just pops yeah. out of nowhere. I think, <laughs> it's just it's great. Yeah, F- yeah, Finn is just a really fun character yep. in this one in general. I really like him in this one. All the other ones, he kind of gets nothing to do. Yeah, John Boyega is just kind but of a the, based individual. Uh, oh, his, yeah, he's his... great. <laughs> Despite his what? Um, <laughs> Uh, not, Despite his vocal Twitter, Twitter there we go. Uh, actually, no, yeah, I actually, yeah, yeah. Ca- I actually kind of love how he is on Twitter because, like, he I know, like I somebody know. pointed I'm it joking. out. Yeah, somebody pointed out that they completely excluded him in the Chinese posters uh, because oh, for, yeah. for for reasons. And instead yeah. of like, oh, okay, that's cool. He like straight up pointed out once like, yeah, Disney, we, you guys are kind of. Can dicks. we briefly talk about mm-hmm. how much Disney sucks <laughs> and how <laughs> like how if you think a, a company actually has opinions, you're an idiot. <laughs> they don't. They will. What what a company will do is they will just tell you your opinions that they can help that that will make you want to buy their products. Yeah. Like they don't actually care. Disney doesn't care about putting like uh, diversity or uh, like gay characters in their movies. Yeah, they, they can edit. They they're gonna they're gonna edit it out for China. Yeah. You know why? Because you can't sell that in China. Like yeah. they don't care. If if you're one of those people on Twitter, that's like. I, you know what I saw recently? I mm. saw, um, I think PlayStation tweeted out something for Pride Month or whatever, right? Uh-huh. And I, like every reply was like, oh, okay, gl- glad I'm going with PlayStation, but not, not Xbox. And I'm like, <laughs> oh are you God. stupid? This is a company. Seriously? They don't hold opinions. <laughs> they don't have opinions. Yeah, I guess I'm switching to Xbox. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It, it's extremely obvious. Like, and not to say that I blame them at all. It's like, it's it's they, they, got, they got bills to pay. Or I guess, you know, Lamborghinis yeah. to, to, to buy. But like it's mostly the, it's mostly the people who fall for it, right? Because the people stop. I'm falling not even for it, talking about the company. I'm talking yeah, about mm-hmm. the people that buy into this shit and think it's... that a company shares their opinions, yeah, even it's... though it's a corporate entity. It's not a person that can have opinions. Like, like they view you as like, walking you wallets, stupid? and they will do anything to get the cash out. It's it's obvious. Exactly. It's so like, are you stupid? Yeah, it's like... so dumb. <laughs> uh, so. On the same note, though, I think this is the absolute best a super corporate like blockbuster can be or like one of the yeah, best interesting because it's just fun like that's all that's all i wanted of any of these movies it's just super fun and it moves quick and also and, and it much, looks great and, and as much as i i never i remember this because we had an argument with somebody who defended brooklyn 99 and one of the points oh, they God. had for it was its diversity right and I'm like, yeah. diversity is like the last thing I look at in shit, right? Just because, just because I'm racist, obviously, right? Yeah. But diversity is just not very important <laughs> to me. But honestly, no, like Force Awakens does diversity yeah, like, very well. There's just characters that are different colors, and they're just that. I really enjoyed the diversity like, in, in Force Awakens. And they're well cast. Yeah, they're it's well like cast. All exactly. these actors fit their roles really well. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, agreed. It's just the, all the actors in this movie, I think, are great. Like they they mm-hmm. fit they fit the characters really well, and they 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 do what they can with the material. Like mm-hmm. they they do their best with the material. Yeah. Like they're not trying to do like a super like like they're not trying to win an Oscar. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. They're just there to be fun characters you like watching. No, because they, they do. There's this tweet I think about sometimes where uh, this African American individual is talking about you know uh, black people can never do cool shit like slay dragons and, sh- and some shit. All our movies are about racism. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like John Boyega like, is slaying dragon dragons and shit. So that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. So. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Love really that. Great. yeah. Love that for us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, it's great. And they even got yeah, Pedro uh, Pascal. It's great. Pedro Pascal? No, that's I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just look sort of similar in like in a completely unsimilar way. Not really. Yeah, they look exactly like. Racist. What do you think I am? I admitted it like a couple sentences ago. God damn it, Mark! Pay attention. Um, let's go to the next one. Okay, uh, sounds good. Last Last Jedi. What do you think uh-huh. of the Last Jedi? It's I honestly okay. I'm gonna. I actually kind of love the direction. I like this it a lot. We tried to take it the series. I like it a lot. I honestly yeah. <laughs> love what it tried to do. Yeah, because yeah. like we, we, I Again, mentioned this um, all the time. Sorry, I, I mentioned this all the time. But yeah. like this is this was really cool to me. Where Luke just sat, sits right down and he's like, "Hey, man, the Jedi kind of suck." 
Because they do. They really do. What do they do? He's what like, are the they hist- doing these like, The history of Jedi is failure. And that's absolutely true. All the Jedi do is walk into a room and get fucked. I, and I, I love that somebody in the, ser- in, the, in the universe actually points it out. I never cared for the originals. I never cared for the <laughs> character. I do not I care like I for did. Star Wars. I feel like I... I feel like even if I did really liked, really like Luke and the originals, I feel like I would still like the direction they took them in because yeah. you know I like characters that aren't just one <laughs> note for thirty years. Even I'm Mark like Hamill in Star Wars, uh, apparently, like even Mark Hamill in interviews is like, "Oh, he was such a hopeful character, and now he's this old hermit." It's like, yes, that's called character it's growth. Like, yeah, that's called changing, that's, Mark Hamill. It's called, it's called being a, a character and not <laughs> a fucking. Blank slate, yeah, you know <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it's like I, it's not even just that they did something that people didn't expect to do with him for the sake of it. I think it mm-hmm. makes sense for him as a I, character. Yeah. I think it makes sense. F- yeah, because again, as you see in the prequels, the Jedi fucking suck. Yeah, pretty much everything like around. Yeah, they're agreed. They're horrible. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, they they're just self righteous assholes. Yeah, they're so lame and boring. I hate mm-hmm. them. <laughs> I hate the yeah, Jedi. Very true. Yeah. And. I think what they did with him also really works for this movie because of Ray, who's like this idealistic kind of like young person, has to oh, break through his, yeah. like, his like exterior, and I think that gives them a really cool dynamic. And that's it's my favorite part of the movie. It's him and Ray and Ray and Kylo Ren, like them talking and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of other things in this movie really suck. Yeah, I, I yeah. could have gone without the alien titties that he drinks milk from. <laughs> I could have honestly kind of gone without that, and the porgs are really annoying. But yeah, most of it, not in it that much. They're, they're not, not in yeah. it nearly as much as the Ewoks are in the third okay, original very true. trilogy one. Like the Ewoks didn't even try. It's like, oh yeah, let's just sell some fucking teddy bears, boys. They didn't even try. Yeah, it's just teddy bear, whatever. <laughs> so yeah. I like a lot more in this. Movie. <sighs> Oh my God. See, the last before, one went so smoothly, I didn't have to edit anything. <laughs> before I record, I told my parents, hey guys, I'm going to record with Mark for a bit. You, if you need me, r- tell me right now, or else don't step into my room for a while. I try not to talk to them as much as I can, so. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Like, I don't tell them anything. <laughs> okay, true, um, fair enough. Anyways, yeah, so everything that's not uh, Luke and Ray in this movie is, like, really bad. Yeah. Like, the whole Casino Planet shit is Oh, fuck, terrible. was that in this one? The, oh my yeah. god. The yeah. the whole like the ship trying to get away from the Empire and the fucking lasers curving into the <laughs> ship even though it's space and there's no gravity <laughs> is like that whole plot line is so terrible. Like with the mutiny and she's just like, Oh, I'm not gonna tell Poe about my plans because Oh my god for reasons. She fucking <laughs> little fucking Lord Dern, fuck. <laughs> I'm genuinely angry remembering what she looked yeah. like. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, Oh, you gotta listen to me. It's like hey man, I'm the kind of the head pilot. What's the plan, man? Well, how could you say yeah, that to me? You're, you're, you're kind of a nothing that came into this, <laughs> you know, for no reason. Yeah, I don't know. Also, can we talk about the scene where Leia floats back to the ship? Oh my god, there's nothing to talk about. I I, I was like close this... to walking out. I was like, I can't do this. Because <laughs> we saw, so we saw, bad. didn't we see this one in theaters too? I, I, I did. Hello? You caught out for a second, what's up? Yeah, I think I saw this twice in theaters. I think. Christ. Yeah, and uh, that scene is horrible. Again, uh, this movie deserves hate, but not for yeah. the reasons people hate. Exactly. On it. No, I walked out of this theater with like pure hatred. The, and then I and then Can I thought we? about it some more, and I actually enjoyed yeah. parts of it. But man, there's so much. Like the good outweighs the bad overall. I want to say, but mm-hmm. not by a lot. Not by a lot. Can we talk about the? How people are mad that the Force just does whatever it wants it's to. It always has. In this it trilogy, allegedly. Has. And I'm like, it always has. It what literally do you mean? doesn't. Yeah, it does not it's matter. It's always just a vague plot thing to move yeah. the plot along. Like, that's what it is. It's not like a. It's not like bending in Avatar, you know? It's like yeah. if, if, Aang started, if Aang started teleporting because of airbending, then I would be mad. <laughs> but, like, that's not what happens, yeah. you know? Uh, Yahtzee I also put it love, really well. Uh, Sorry. Yahtzee yeah, actually. I, I love. Go, on. go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. I love what they did with the so whole. So anyway, um, <laughs> I love what they did with the whole uh, Kylo Ren talking to Ray, and it's like shot reverse shot, but they're in different locations. Yeah. I thought that was super cool. <laughs> uh, that was a really funny scene too. But yeah, he's shirtless, <laughs> and she's like, "Can you put on a shirt?" And he just doesn't say anything. <laughs> he just stands there, <laughs> it's establishing so dominance. It's, it's so, so great. Funny. Yeah. It's but hilarious. It, Yahtzee put it really well. He was actually using this to refer to Adam uh, in Bioshock, which is also a really accurate mm-hmm. description. He called it all-purpose plot insulation. 
where mm. it just as soon as something doesn't make sense, just blam, pop the force. The force did it. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like what and religion like... did in the Middle Ages. Oh, sorry, edgy. Okay, we're coming out. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like we don't I know. Mean, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. It's like we don't know what's going on here. Bam! It's the force. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's yeah, it. and um, yeah, and I, I still, I still don't understand what people were so mad about uh, at this movie for. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's, I don't know. There's how is it, to be mad about? How, how is it really that different from all the other ones? I don't know, that, <laughs> that casino that. shit really pissed me off. I don't know, man. That was terrible. Yeah, like, that was like, that was like the prequels. What's her name? That reminds me of the prequels. <laughs> what's her name again? Rose. Mm -hmm. One of my least favorite characters in anything. Terrible. Yeah, I Everything was actually I was surprised when I when I like walked out the theater and saw that people online were also hating on her. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. I'm not the oh, only what? one. Like, <laughs> oh, this character sucks. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> I do dislike how much hate the actress got because like that's just really dumb. Mm -hmm. That's kind of just kind it's of just really a, bad. she's just an actor. Like, she what got, do you? <laughs> she has bills to, again. I love this argument because like, man, she got bills to pay. What do you want? She got cast in Star Wars. Do you want her yeah. to not be in there? Do you want her to be like, no, sorry, I don't deserve to be in your. <laughs> franchise even though you're a fat 40 year old nick you know, it's like <laughs> <Exactly>. fuck you, <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah she got payments on her yeah i don't i don't hate on the actress i think yeah. she's just a really unlikable character yeah agreed yeah, yeah. brianna of tarth did a really good job though i enjoyed her in these for like the three seconds she was because <laughs> she wears a helmet <laughs> she does wear a cool helmet what do you, what do you yeah Ew. honestly yeah, i don't um, like the shiny silver though kind of kind of like kind of lame yeah mm. um what do you think of the the climax of the movie? Because I, I really liked the salt planet with the red. It looked cool as fuck. Oh, is that the one where Luke's like astral projects some some hologram? Yes. And Kylo Ren just and unloads then Kylo on Ren it. Goes, more, <laughs> more, <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty neat. Uh, it's a so lot good. of that's a such a good that's yeah. such a good like uh, like video. Yeah. <laughs> It was a really cool, yeah, it was a really cool visually, but uh, again, the whole s sort of B-plot with Rose and, like, the other rebels grabbing these, like, mm -hmm. rinky dink airplanes, and that's how they, yeah. that's how we're gonna win this, not by destroying the people we hate, but by protecting <laughs> the people we love. That's when I was like, Even alright. She, she was just, she was just speeding at the fucking enemy <laughs> that's right when I was before like, that. <laughs> that's when I was like, alright, guys, come on. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, yeah, all right, all right. All right, yeah that's enough. Stupid Star Wars shit, I don't know. No, and was that in this movie, where, where Yoda just kind of nukes a bunch of books, and he's like, page turners, that were not. <laughs> it's like kind of funny. The sacred text. <laughs> the sacred text. Yeah, that one. that's from this movie. Yeah. Can I just? Can we? I, I, I think we talk about this a lot, but mm -hmm. I, I, I really wish they would have used CG Yoda instead <laughs> yeah. of puppet Yoda. Like puppet Yoda was cute for the time or whatever, but mm -hmm. now like he looks so he out of place look in good, a movie yeah. where everything else looks so good. Yeah, I have you know? to agree. He I just agree. looks silly and out of place and yeah. looks bad. I wish they used cool, badass CG Yoda. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not surprised at all they used puppet Yoda. I just kind of wish they hadn't. Well, because these movies essentially just pander to people that like the originals, right? Well, except for this one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I, was, I don't know. I might be wrong, but the puppet just kind of looked worse. I feel like the original puppet was just kind of It did. It looked, it, looked, it looked silly, yeah. Yeah. It looked weird. So. But yeah, this one, um, I like it overall. I don't like a lot about it. Mm -hmm. I still, I literally still do not understand what everyone ha is, hated so much it's about. Honestly, I'm going to say because it, it tried to do different shit. That's it. Yeah, it's not just another. But it's not even that movie. different. Like it's not even it's not that even different. different. Let's be real. Yeah. It's like just, him throwing oh, the lightsaber. A that's a fucking funny scene. Like stop, stop crying. I, it, was, it was just like, oh, a character does something I wouldn't expect them to do. <laughs> oh no, I hate when stories do things that I don't expect them to do. I I want everything to be like how I want it to yeah, be. Yeah, like like that scene because is genuinely I'm a, funny. I'm a fucking yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah. I love it. It's yeah. like it makes sense why he would get the solution yeah. of the Jedi after. Start starting a Jedi Academy and then that just falling apart. You know, it's like that makes sense to me. Even though you can That's tell a logical progression it, to his character, it, it's very obvious yeah. that there were like seventeen directors involved. Because like, was didn't mm. he leave coordinates to find him in the original movie in in, in Force Awakens? Sorry, I don't know. And then they I come think to so, yeah, yeah, yeah he did, and then they. And then they come to find him, and he's like, "I don't want you here." It's like, "Well, why'd you leave the court, Luke?" I never thought about. I never yeah. thought about that. That, yeah. that is that is really weird. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> it's not. I, you can't even really fault it. There's just like seven directors trying to tell one story. Mm -hmm. That's why shit doesn't work. Yeah, well, it's just this is Ryan Johnson, who everyone hated after this movie, but yeah. I think he's didn't like he do Knives Out? A fucking. What? Yeah, he did. I love Knives Out. I think out. Knives Out That's Knives great. Out's a much better movie yeah. than any Star Wars movie. <laughs> I can live with that. Yeah, <laughs> like very true. And again, I appreciate it for trying something different. Like I really like the direction they took Luke's character. Yeah. yeah. I really hate that whole. 
I am the noble hero and I have no flaws whatsoever it's other than so I'm, boring. I'm weak to defeat the villain. Yeah, it's so mm. boring. This one is just like... It's like, yeah, he's seen... Like, people were mad at that scene where he almost murders Kylo Ren because he senses darkness in him, but, like, he's seen what an yeah. evil empire can do to the galaxy. Yep. Like, it, 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 are you, like, it's like it's like the whole argument I saw on Twitter today that, oh, they really shouldn't have made Aang a shitty father. And I'm oh like, do you God. just really want your hero character to just be a flawless, <laughs> like, guy? That's so boring. It's like, it's fiction. This sh- sh- nothing should have should have happened. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but they're saying it's, like, out of character. It's uh-huh. like... That's what that's that's called character development. Like yeah. it's, <laughs> of course, it's out of character because it's, it's not the same character. That's the point. It is. It is the same character. He's just oh, like sorry. he's grown and changed. No, you sorry. Know? It's like the same character that it, you know what I meant. He's grown it's and same, changed. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> See, that's why. No, we're so we're Star Wars fans and we want everything the same. But when it is the same, we get yeah, mad that's because a, it's the same. That's exactly why <laughs> Star Wars fans hate it because they weren't able to grow up. They can't aren't able to change. Mm-hmm. That's why they hate that so much. It's like, what? I'm supposed to change? That was that wasn't part of the deal. Nah. nah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I want I want to watch the same movie I've watched six years ago. <laughs> I I always want to watch the same movie every time. Yeah. Not experience anything different. Always. And again, I don't even I don't even like if it was wildly out if it's something was wildly out of character and like just didn't make sense. I would be like, okay, that doesn't make sense. But like I could see how he would get to that point where he would do the things he does in this movie. Mm-hmm. You know, because they they show his backstory, they explain his backstory, and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense why he is this bitter old man now. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I, mean, I, d- a, I just love logical up, character arc. I just love that you bring up Avatar, right? Just because, like, man, can you imagine if people went around and were like, oh, Captain Phasma deserved a redemption arc? Can you imagine if people <laughs> just walked around saying stupid shit like that? No, Haldo deserved a redemption arc. Oh, she did got one, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> I was do it. Well, yeah so she, That's like, Laura Dern's character. Uh, oh, she got a redemption? No, I actually... She did die. That's pretty redeeming. Good point. That shot was really fucking cool, where she light speeds through the enemy fleet. Ah, uh, I see. I don't. Know, you probably you probably don't remember, but that was a really cool shot. Hmm. This is this movie looks really good. It looks it's a lot better shot than most Star Wars movies. I think. Okay. Yeah. That does. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. It looks really good. But yeah, there's a lot of annoying shit. Um, they just get progressively worse with this new trilogy. The first one is the best. Second one's all right, and the third one is just. Uh yeah, let's yeah. get it. let's get to the third one. Let's do you remember it at all? One. Very little. I do remember that one of the first scene, like Kylo Ren destroys his helmet in the previous scene, right? And then like the very <laughs> first scene is him just kind of rebuilding it. <laughs> it's like it's a perfect analogy for these movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like Ryan Johnson destroying everything that came before, and JJ Abrams just going like, no, 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 glue it together, glue it back together, <laughs> glue literally, it all back together. We will do uh, Return of the Jedi again. <laughs> I think I think once you start vaguely describing shit, I think I'll remember at some point. Well, I don't yeah. remember exactly what it was about. Yeah, this one is really fucking stupid. It's no. still, I still had a lot of fun watching it because right. it looks cool mm-hmm. and there's some cool action scenes. But this one is horrible. It's uh-huh. uh, Palpatine comes back. <laughs> some of the oh stupid my God. shit. Oh, yeah, do you remember that? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'm, it's coming back to me. Yeah. It's like I can see. Again, it's like this whole vague outline of a story thing where I could see how you would want your trilogy to end somewhere along these lines over mm-hmm. here in terms of the characters, but they don't build up to it at all. Yeah. Um, another thing with Last Jedi is that if you look at it, if you look at the Last Jedi within the grander scheme of the story, literally nothing happens in that movie that's like important to the story. Yeah. Nothing at all. And then they do this whole grand third finale where I'm supposed to like like see how it would get to this point and it's just, it doesn't make any sense mm-hmm. like there's no through line, narrative through line to any of these movies which is i think one main reason why people hate them yeah the, the force awakens people kind of like to they're like yeah this is sets up a cool story or whatever and then they just don't like do it in the mm-hmm. two and three it's like three is like desperately trying to scramble to finish what they wanted to do because the second one didn't do any of because what they wanted to yeah do. it's like the- <laughs> yeah so yeah, it had to spend so much time rewriting the second one that they didn't actually write anything new, and except for like really dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. And, like, this, this is fucking stupid. I'm not even gonna defend this one. Yeah, and there's this whole thing between her and Ren, which I didn't believe for a second. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I was just I generally I remember seeing clips like somebody posted like a clip a clip collection of like a bunch of people screaming when they kiss. It's like, cuz like apparently there was like, it's like what? an actual like, dedicated fan base of like Kylo uh, Ren and Ray Shippers. I think it's just I think it's just cuz they think the actors are hot. There's nothing to like oh. the characters, you know? There's Adam, nothing to the right. characters. Adam Driver's kind of fuck ugly. Like I love you Adam, but fuck man. A- Adam Driver <laughs> is attractive in his own way, okay? Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i love adam driver i love adam driver a lot but like i don't know yeah. i love kevin spacey too i'm not gonna call him attractive <laughs> okay don't say that we'll cut that out <laughs> <laughs> that's where you draw the line no, that, fair that, enough no that right there is a hot take <laughs> what he means is kevin you... spacey's a good actor yeah no i totally no no I, what i actually meant was i loved his acting that's what i meant yeah, yeah, yeah. There we yeah. go. <laughs> that's, that's generally what I meant. I'm sorry, yeah. Like, he's really... He's good in Baby Driver, okay? Bananas. He's re- He's a good actor, yeah. yeah. Bananas. That's why he was a famous actor that was successful until, you know... Until... Until what, Mark? Until House of Cards got cancelled. There yeah. we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Well, we're completely off topic. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, third one, bad. Center Palpatine coming back is so goofy. Especially because, like, after we yeah. watched The New Hope and Darth Vader, like, essentially dying to throw him down what essentially is an elevator shaft, and he just kind of doesn't die. That's, uh, that's Empire Strikes Back. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but that's Empire Strikes Back, obviously. Yeah, my yeah bad. This, this one is really fucking stupid. I don't even want to talk about it. It's yeah. really dumb. It's still, I think, a lot of fun, mm-hmm. even though it's really fucking dumb. Like, the pacing is, like... It's like rapid, like it's it's like lightning fast. It's insane. So you kind of, yeah. But at the same time, again, they just they had no plan at all. They were kind of you can tell they were scrambling to get any of it done in a way. Yeah. And everybody kind of. I'm glad everybody finally saw through, and they're like, "Yeah, this is fucking bullshit." Like, this is... <laughs> I agree. But yeah, uh, I I still enjoy it more than any of the originals. What What do you think of the final Even line? Even though it's fucking awful. What's the final line? Ray Skywalker. <laughs> it's like what it's like well, why <laughs> they suck what somebody somebody raised a very interesting point that maybe um uh like ren or solo would have made sense because he she fell in love with uh adam driver yeah, or something allegedly allegedly <laughs> allegedly <laughs> um yeah, but yeah that makes Skywalker no fucking was sense. so stupid and she has a gold lightsaber for no reason. It's also such a dumb ass goddamn name. Like Skywalker, you can tell it's like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I wanna I wanna bring up uh Kylo Ren's lightsaber real quick. Oh, I nice. think it's really fucking cool. I think it's uh, alright. It's like it has like the hilts like a medieval sword does. It's so and dumb. It's, it's also very it is dumb, but it looks cool. <laughs> it's okay, it's very uh it's very unstable. Uh-huh. Like the laser is unstable because I guess when he was forging it, because he wasn't a very good Jedi, right. he kind of fucked it, fucked up the forgery of the actual lightsaber, which it it shows on the lightsaber. Yeah, I also I forgot to bring up this really fucking cool action scene in this in Last Jedi where they fight the the Knights of Ren, like the Ren. Oh, Knights. that was Do you remember sick! That? that was like one of the best action. Yeah, and that like, was awesome. Like I fucking like the prequels have cool action scenes, but there's no weight to any of You're it, right. you know. Uh-huh. But when when Kylo Ren is like hitting something, you can tell he's like really mm. putting like force into his lightsaber, so yeah. it looks really fucking cool. I, I really like that. Point, yeah. uh, although apparently it's like according to stunt coordinators, that's like an objectively bad scene or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask them. But I thought it looked really cool. I thought yeah. it looked really fucking cool, and uh, just him like just his vicious like fighting style of that lightsaber. Yeah, he is really gets really cool. he gets really angry. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. He's a he's a really good character. I think he's the one that like carries this whole trilogy. Like I don't think any other character is strong enough in yeah, this John, trilogy like, to as carry. Much as, it. as much as I love John Boyega, he pretty much only does stuff in Force Awakens. Yeah, he he. They really sideline him. Yeah, they really sideline him. They give him nothing to do, which is one of the reasons he's like super mad at yeah. this trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, you you barely remember this one, right? No, this one's I don't know. This one I think I yep. tried to erase a lot of it, dude. I don't I don't. The like most memor- the most memorable thing about it is uh that I took initiative to go and tell the theater guys that their projector was fucking up. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I and like, that the nobody else was like doing that? it, and I'm yeah. like, and I'm like, damn, I guess I just gotta be the guy. I guess you I just, guess gotta, I just be gotta, the gotta be the guy. <laughs> nobody else is gonna do it because they're little fucking bitches. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so I, I did it and they fixed this. I do remember being this like s- yeah. stupidly convoluted thing where there was like the ship in the water and she had like this knife. The knife? 
yeah, what yeah. the fuck was that? What? Bro, that was one of the that was one of the dumbest fucking things <laughs> I've ever seen in any movie. That was ridiculously so stupid. So bad. That was insanely stupid. Mm-hmm. She like she like takes out like this knife and she like folds out like a compass <laughs> on it and then she holds it across like the ship and, like the the sea and it gives her like an outline of where it's like it's so fucking stupid. Oh my god, stupid. it was it, uh, it's even it's difficult retarded. to describe because it's so dumb. I don't know you know how you'd come up with something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, you think we're just about done with this I think we're pretty much franchise? Done. Oh, no, not quite, actually. There's one more oh, thing. Oh, yo, right, 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 yeah. <laughs> the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, I, what? I knew, the, the only reason I bring this up is because I knew Mark wanted to share his spicy take, so go on. Um, I can see why people that love the original, original right. trilogy love this. Because uh, nothing happens, the characters are paper thin, <laughs> and it's fucking boring. So, just like the originals. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is a terrible show. I think it's fucking horrible. <laughs> I think like nothing happens. Like nothing happens this whole show. I get it's supposed to be episodic, but I feel like a good episodic show would have, you know, good episodes, <laughs> which this one doesn't. <laughs> it sucks. It's like people convince themselves they like it. It's because it does nothing uh it it because it does nothing like interesting and it's just like it doesn't do new things in the lore like Last Jedi tried, which they hate it. So, because they hate it all that, they they look at this, which literally nothing happens this whole show, and they're like, "Oh, this is great! <laughs> it's like yeah. original Star Wars. Nothing, nothing happens, and it's fucking boring." It's like <laughs> the first episode stuff happens, then it's eight episodes of filler, and then stuff kind of happens in the last episode. Yeah, exactly. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, as much um, I really enjoyed the show on watching it, just because. I'm kind of a moron, and I love cool helmets. I would literally watch anything yeah, that has a cool helmet. Yeah. But, and it carries it. He has a cool it. voice. He has a cool voice. He has you a know? cool helmet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I dislike... This is genuinely, like, probably, like, my second or third least favorite fan base is, is surrounding this show. Oh, my God. Because with the whole, like, Baby which Yoda... Which is saying a lot. Which is saying a lot. My least favorite is probably still Death Grips. I'm just say that. They, they, they're terrible. <laughs> but <laughs> this one's a close second or third. Because, like, man, all this, like, oh, Baby Yoda, eat chicky nuggy, drink chalky milk thing. It was, like, <laughs> vom- it's, like, Yoda actually vomit-inducing. <laughs> it's, like, actually vomit-inducing. It's terrible. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, it's yeah. so bad. It's terrible, and that's not even like. And it's like, yeah, go on. Yeah, I feel like people that really like this show just have never watched a good show, <laughs> or they're like blinded by their love for Star Wars and the cool helmet. Because because this is if this is if 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 this if he had a helmet that didn't look like jo- uh, Boba Fett's helmet, <laughs> and it wasn't set in the Star Wars quote unquote universe, mm-hmm. even though there's no world building at all. Right. Uh, what would distinguish this from like a episode from like a series on the sci-fi channel you know even though Nothing. it's like really underexplored i still think their religion makes like no sense <laughs> it's stupid it's so yeah. dumb yeah it's just like oh, i did like the line though where he's like oh weapons are my religion or something like that what does he say <laughs> he's something like yeah, that, that yeah. was cool that was a cool line i gotta get me one of those yeah stuff like that oh stop <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> there's this post i made a while ago that i'm still extremely proud of it's like oh i'm thinking of him heavy infantry mandalorian <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay so yeah that. um so they look cool cool helmets but it's it's shocking how little actually happens it's not even like i wouldn't even mind if nothing happened if the individual episodes and like mm-hmm. story arcs they have in those episodes were any good but they're fucking mm-hmm. awful yeah like, all of them are awful uh-huh. I like the episode of Bill Burr only because oh, Bill Burr is in it. Bill Burr's in it. I and wasn't a stormtrooper impl- asshole. They they implied the existence of Space Boston. <laughs> space Boston. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's the only only good part oh, of the show good. is when Bill Burr is on it. We make like, so, every uh, other so episode many. is like. Can you recall a single like story arc in any of the episodes that was like memorable or I, interesting to you? I really enjoy. Okay, this is lame. Just because I have a soft spot for robots, right? I really like the robot at the end, right? Where uh, yeah, he's, he was reprogrammed to be like a sort of nurse, and how he sort of uh, yeah, I, I like him a lot. I don't know. Voiced by Taika Waititi. Oh yeah. wow, nice. I also I enjoy yeah. the I have spoken guy. <laughs> I think Stop. he's kind of funny. Never mind. That was just the wind knocking yeah. on my door. Oh, nice. I have spoken. Yeah, but I've... that's actually that's actually a great by how the show. Oh, wow. uh, so much of it is just like catchphrases. Ah, uh, this is the way. It's 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 always just this is the way, and I have <laughs> spoken. It's like that's not like sure. It's kind of funny the first two times, but yeah, that's not, like I dialogue. Old, yeah. You gotta you, you know you gotta have actual dialogue. You can't just substitute dialogue for catchphrases that people can meme. I mean, I don't you know. know. He has like, spoken. 
he did like not this isn't necessarily the way right but he has spoken that's why i kind of prefer that one again this show <laughs> the oh. show like most star wars movies uh, pander to people that don't really watch yeah. movies or tv shows because there's not a lot to it also i'm gonna say uh, this i do not like gina carono yeah. i do not like how oh, she sucks i do not like yeah. how severely the fan base uh sort of i'm gonna carono. say i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say simp i'm gonna say simp because yeah. that's what happened. This is this is the thing I noticed, right? Where if the if she's if it's a, there's a female in a show, it just automatically people have to be attracted to them. Yeah, it's just how it works. Yeah, this I noticed this yeah, exactly. in the boys, right? Where the attraction of the characters is so not even it's like tertiary's tertiary. It's like so yeah. not existent and not important, and yet that's like what like fifty percent of the discourse was about it was like, oh, I want to fuck Kimiko in the face, and uh, the starlight has the thighs. It's like literally this, and they they call her like Mommy Corona and sh- Corona or some like, shit. Like, do you even watch you, the show, or do you just like jerk like, off? Like, who, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's yeah. like, what do you like? It's <laughs> like I, I'm a dude with balls, right? But like, man, this shit's annoying. Yeah. If this yeah. was just a woman on the street and it wasn't on the show you're watching, you wouldn't look at her twice. <laughs> like, you know, it's like it's really yeah. It's just it's by really virtue pos- of them really being on a show, you just automatically assume they're attractive. I guess it's weird. It's a yeah. strange phenomenon. It's a very strange, yeah. yeah it, Anyways, yeah. Uh, the, show, the, show, the show sucks. Show uh, suck, it's yeah. about nothing. It's about nothing. The character is nothing. Uh, he has a cool helmet. That's about it. We didn't um, bother watching season two, just because, yeah, there's no reason to. Yeah, season two did sound a lot cooler from what I've heard oh, of it. Oh, nice. Wow. It has, like, it has, like, actual storylines with, like, other, mm-hmm. like, Star Wars people coming in and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the first season is, like, it's so... It's so nothing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just... It's... I, I like Disney was successful in what they were trying to make, which is make a show for people that don't watch anything. <laughs> you know, because I guess if you don't watch any show ever or any movie ever, mm-hmm. you would probably think this is pretty good. I uh, but, I like, still if you, yeah yeah I, I still really enjoyed it upon first watch, and if I were to watch it again, I'd probably still enjoy it. But it's just but then we kind of started talking about it, and you're like, oh yeah, no yeah <laughs> exactly. It's kind of bad. Like I, I, he's got a cool helmet though. It's like I remember how um. My friends from Waterloo that, like, you know, they, uh, yeah, I'm not going to call them out by name, but <laughs> they, my friends from Waterloo, they were, like, they were watching The Flash. One of them was watching The Flash, and mm-hmm. I watched, like, two episodes, and I'm like, bro, this is the worst shit I've ever seen. Like, the special effects look like they were made for 20 bucks and a ham sandwich by a bunch of college students, you know? <laughs> and then after that, he's like, oh, shit, I can't watch this show anymore. <laughs> he's like, you're so right. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, just... It's di- it's sometimes exhausting just being someone, correct all just the someone time, providing man. a different perspective. Sometimes yeah. just someone providing a different perspective can really alter your perspective. Very too. true. Yeah, it's exhausting <laughs> being correct all the time, man. Yeah. Oh, one more exactly. thing. I'll give it its favor. Okay, this this I can't even technically count it, but I really fucking love the paintings that they use in the credit and the ending. Oh credits. yeah, they look and so the music. nice. And the music, yeah. The Mandalorian's the, the, theme is yeah. badass. It's I really it. cool. It's like the sort of yeah. flute, and it's like dun, dun. it's awesome. Yeah. 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 So, like the, the good, the bad, and the ugly music mixed with Star Wars music. <laughs> music. Literally, the only it's thing the Star Wars only... has ever done well is helmets and music, and that's what the show it's has. It's the only. It's like. I was really impressed because Star Wars music is so iconic at this mm-hmm. point, right? And they actually managed to write a new theme for yeah. this character yeah. in a Star Wars universe and make it memorable. That mm-hmm. was really well done. That's I really, love yeah. the music in this show. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. fantastic. The special effects are really good. The backgrounds, even like it was filmed on like all on like yeah. a screen, like a TV screen, and that looked like really like mm-hmm. convincing. I didn't even realize that was going on, but just the writing is so bad in this yeah. show. Like there's just no characters. Mm-hmm. Like you don't give a shit about anybody you know it's like i'm telling you i hate this argument but if this wasn't star wars nobody <laughs> would care about this like yeah, this is, it's so mediocre just on its own mm-hmm. if you're not attached to star wars like yeah, yeah it's like and even if you are attached to star wars you probably don't have like a lot of critical thinking <laughs> but yeah anyways uh <laughs> I mean, they even have gustavo finch for a little bit he's awesome he does nothing but yeah he does nothing cool but oh my god i literally noticed like after every t- like in in Star Wars, as soon as a ship essentially goes down, it explodes, right? Yeah. And he shoots down. Uh, it didn't Gustavo explode. F- he shoots down Gustavo Finch's ship, and I'm waiting for it to explode. I'm expecting it to explode, and it doesn't. I'm like, oh great, he survived. Awesome. Okay, whatever. And guess what? He's in the second he's season. He's so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are we done talking about Star? Did you see Rogue One or Solo? I. I've seen parts of Rogue One. I, f- I think Rogue One. I genuinely did fall asleep. I was like comfy on my couch. Rogue I fell One. Asleep. 
is easily the most boring Star Wars movie. <laughs> just saying a lot. Rogue One is bad. The only thing I like about it is that every main character dies. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> dope, yeah. And, and the the Darth Vader scene in the hallway that oh, that yeah. shit was so I, I goddamn saw that on cool. YouTube. I saw that on YouTube. That yes. was so cool. That it's, was like that was the only part of the movie worth anything. Yeah, you watch that scene on YouTube, you get the entire movie basically. And uh, I hate the sentiment of the movie as well. Mm-hmm. It's like leave no stone unturned. You know, next we're gonna get a movie about a throwaway line from the prequels. Yeah. The, <laughs> that business on whatever the fuck <laughs> Obi Wan says, right? Like this movie yeah. did not need to be told. Like yeah. the story, we don't need mm-hmm. to know how the rebels got the coordinates for the Death. Mm-hmm. That's that's all this movie is about. How did the rebels got the coordinates for the Death Star? Yeah. Same thing with the Han Solo movie, which is also extremely mediocre, uh, and you just you don't need to know. I Han haven't Solo's actually backstory. watched that one. Yeah. You don't need. I to was know tempted. Han Solo's backstory. Yeah. I was like, tempted because really Donald need... Glover, but I'd never actually watched that one. Oh, he's he's fun. Yeah. yeah. No, I just love. But him he's not in it that much. Oh God damn it. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's, it's really boring. Don't watch it. I do remember this one scene, like, because I, I see, I think I saw clips of it. I don't know. I think I watched a review of it at some point. I don't know where he's talking to the robot, who's like, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this robot, but it's like feminism robot or something. And he asks the <laughs> he asks the robot, uh, "Can I get you anything?" And they go equal rights. And it's like, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let me just get right what on that fuck? for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even funny it's, <laughs> it's like it's funny because it's so unfunny yeah but. exactly oh that's terrible <laughs> yeah Woody Harrelson's in it for like a little bit Amelia really? Clark is I forgot Amelia Clark is in it oh my god that's right Amelia weird. Weird. I mean, Clark is in yeah, this that's one weird. wow Very I also weird. I don't um, buy him as young Han Solo at all I didn't think he was that bad, but oh, wow, yeah, okay. you just, I didn't you, actually see the movie. Just, I just so I don't as know. As much as I don't really care about Han Solo, like Harrison Ford is the only thing that made that character kind of memorable. Yeah, true. And Good it's like point. I really, I really don't need to know this guy's backstory. Yep. I really don't. It's like it's like missing the whole point of anything, you know, of any story. Mm-hmm. It's just like what? Yeah, I'm telling you, they're gonna start making movies about throwaway lines from <laughs> all of them. It's like, yeah, oh yeah, the, the ship that made the Kessel run in, in 12 oh parsecs. Oh my god. Alright, that's that's a movie. Okay, All honestly, right, let's make that honestly movie. we need a backstory movie on Watto. Let, let's be real here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need. Uh. <laughs> so, okay, last thing, I wanted to see, like, story-wise, I'm just interested. Do you have anything to say about Jedi Fallen Order? Oh, that game fucking sucked. Okay, uh, nice. Like, they didn't <laughs> suck. I, I actually, I had fun with the, the gameplay mm-hmm. to a, an extent, right? Um, okay. You watched me play the final boss. That shit I was did? really difficult. Yeah, it was a little. That was obnoxious. like that was like, uh, that was like way more difficult than anything else in the okay, game for some good. reason. That's why it's the final. The boss final mark. like two well bosses. Done. Yeah, so the gameplay is really janky and not that uh-huh. polished. But I had fun with it, I guess, okay, at some points. The story in that game is so goddamn bad. It's so awful. And guess what? People that liked the original movies also like that game. Of so. course. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah. I remember, the like, story back is in like so fucking bad. Back in like grade nine, when we had like nothing to do together, I would come over and just watch you play Battlefront. Oh yeah, Battlefront is <laughs> great. Well, it's not great, it's but not great. I enjoy. Mm-hmm. I enjoy running around Hoth while a giant AT-AT walker yeah, walks pretty... on the side and shooting a bunch of rebels in the face. Nice. That's fun. <laughs> nice. But they're not good. But they have a huge problem with those types of games, I think, is because literally everybody wants to be Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, have you played any Star Wars games? I have not. That's why I asked you to say I everything. I played uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed on the Wii. That shit slapped. I'm d- I loved it. Uh, interesting. Okay. I would not have expected that. I loved that. it. I, as a kid, I loved it because you would use oh, okay, like the motion it. control. You would like swing your remote to swing Whoa, your lightsaber, okay. and like the the main character had like dual lightsabers. And also, you were playing as a as one of Vader's henchmen, okay. and you were just like you were like murdering like c- civilians and shit. It was yeah, awesome. Nine year old me, that would have blown my mind. That's a fair point. <laughs> that, dude, that was so cool. And also, they had like a whole physics system in there, so you wow. could literally pick up objects in the environment and throw them. Like, oh the wow, force. fascinating! That's fucking cool. Nah, that shit would have blown really my mind. Cool. I'm talking shit, but that would have yeah. blown my mind as a kid. And you could also use like force lightning and shit. It was great. <laughs> nice. No, great. no, that, you die. That, that game has a versus mode on the Wii. We should try that. <laughs> God damn it! You come over. Yeah, you should totally set up your Wii for that. That I don't. Yeah, Force Unleashed. Good, from what I remember. Um, Fallen Order. Like, I will literally like shitty video game stories just because it's a video game. Mm-hmm. Because video games are more engaging in terms of storytelling, but even then, I I could not get down with Fallen Order's story. It was so lame. Okay, it fair was enough. So lame. Yeah. Okay. Um, the main character is played by the guy who plays the Joker in in Gotham. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. He's really good in Gotham, yeah. though. He's, I don't know. He's, he's, is he good he's in the good. game? It's just like a, 
like his character is so boring. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. He's a really lame character. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a, that was a decent. That was the only. Uh, that was the only Dark Souls game I've beat. Wow! Congrats. Because <laughs> basically, Dark Souls. I've beat Dark Souls. Really like twice. Be, it's like it's really funny to be how um, they're like. All right, we're making a Star Wars game. What, what should we make it like? Uh, Souls like. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's pretty challenging. I really enjoyed the challenge in that game. There's like an interesting. There's it's like a, a bit of like a, a stagger meter game. type thing. It's like Sekiro. Yeah, it's like uh-huh. a block meter. Oh, it's cool. It's really janky. Like the if you want to parry something, it's basically up to luck. Mm. Uh, it's not actual actually timing based. So it's like, so it's like Sekiro. Weird. Okay. Okay. Nice. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, that was a was probably the shittiest game I've actually finished. Wow. Nice. Like. It's just the story was so bad, but the gameplay is fun. Yeah, yeah the like, Star Wars games are better than the movies. Because like apparently the Knights of the Old Republic games are like incredible. I haven't played a single. I game really want to play those. Yeah, they seem nice. Those were essentially those were essentially prototype for Mass Effect. <coughs> made by the same people. Ooh, but Mass Effect sucks. And so I'm assuming they're like, all right, we want to make another Star Wars game, but we don't have the license. <laughs> so let's, oh, let's just do Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, interesting. Let's actually do some decent world building this time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to play those. Apparently, they're doing a remaster this year. Yeah, oh, nice. I to play that. Okay, uh, right, I, I uh, almost not. Are we done talking about Star Wars? I think that's everything. That's everything I wanted to uh, bring up. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Um, Phantom Menace. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's probably honestly, Mine's The Force Awakens. Probably <laughs> the only good one. <laughs> I don't know. For me, like, uh, like if we're talking, I guess it depends on the day. Some days it's Revenge of the Sith. No, not wait. Which one? Mm-hmm. No, sorry. Was it yeah, Revenge of the, the, the Sith, third yeah. one. The third one. It's like, you it's underestimate my power. <laughs> that movie's hilarious. <laughs> or Force <No>. Awakens, yeah. <laughs> you my brother, Anakin. I loved you. <laughs> you were supposed to be the chosen <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, hey, you want to record a Star Wars podcast? I do, you do not want to record a Star Wars podcast. I don't want to record a Star Wars podcast. I do not want to record a Star Wars podcast. <laughs> you want podcast. to go home and rethink your life. I'm going to go home and rethink my I life. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious all right yes, we got a you. good meaty conversation yeah wow nice Star Wars. i'm surprised and, how much we got uh, out of the I sequel i am very and, like, excited all to all not the, have uh, to talk like, about Star Wars ever stuff. again in my life <laughs> let's never discuss it ever Craig. uh because star wars wears me out and is like <laughs> out of all the things you could be a fan of star wars is like the default one and it's just really fu- <laughs> like it, it's uh it's like yeah. if you're a fan of star wars at this point it's like what what are you doing get, what get you? into better franchises yeah like um <laughs> like lord of the rings Yes, although the Hobbit movies kind of suck. Yeah, I I only read the I was forced to read the Hobbit book, man. I I was I read the Cliff Notes. I could not do it, dude. I I was forced to read it last year. I really hated nice. that book. <laughs> nice. I love the the movies, but like the the Lord of the Rings movies, but that mm-hmm. Hobbit book and the the Lord of the Rings books actually I found to be unbearable. Okay, I hated them. Fair enough. The movies are the movies like really improve it. I think. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah. Um, anyways. I'm going to stop recording. I think it's time to stop um, recording. I don't think we have anything else left right. to say. This was episode, I think, five of Media Banter. I think it was five, correct. Thank you for listening. Uh, Star Wars sucks uh, forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs>